Dude, I hate when I do that. Can't believe I did that. Okay. I just deleted my whole intro and now I have to refilm it. So that's cool because I already used all the products, but whatever. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Chloe and today I'm going to be reviewing new mascara beauty products. I've heard a lot about this and it's a very different way of putting on makeup, so I'm really excited to try it. This stuff is definitely a different way of putting on makeup. So you're gonna put your contour like, you know, where you put your contour. The highlight is like technically, I would say like concealer, but they call it highlight. Um, and then they have lip and cheeks and then the illuminator. I ended up getting two hi highlight colors just because my skin tone is very different and it's very yellow. So we wanted to make sure that we got the correct color and I'm wearing it right now and it looks great. Uh, the coloring does. Um, it's a very different way of putting on makeup and I've never done my makeup this way before. It comes in really, really cute packaging. I have to tell you that this mascara beauty product is super cute. So this is the palette that it comes in. Really pretty marble with like gold accents. You open it up and it has a mirror and then you can put all of your colors in. So here are my two highlight colors, my lip color, and then my contour color. So in this palette, um, they come in really cute little containers. So this first color is amber and that is the container that that looks like. Second color in this palette is aura. The third color, which is the lip and cheek is desert sunset. And then the contour color is ash. So I think that those are really cute. I like that they come like that. Um, I also got a detail contour brush. This is used, sadly, I, I did use it. It looked really pretty on my first video, but whatever. So here is the contour brush. That is what that looks like, kind of thinner and then thicker, and then that's how dense it is. It is really soft, and this side is really soft as well. This is like nose contour whatever. So this, this brush is, is beautiful. I, I like the rose gold. These are rose gold and this is gold. People are selling it everywhere. I had never heard of it before. A girl on Instagram hit me up and was like, Hey, do you want to try this product? And I was like, actually, yeah, that sounds very interesting. I've never heard of doing your makeup like that before. So I was curious and I was a bit nervous. I still starting this video I was a bit nervous too but um and then one of my girlfriends was like hey have you heard of mascara beauty and I was like actually I I'm gonna try it out so um yeah I hope you guys like this video if you do please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and let's get this video started okay all of my makeup is off I have all of the I have all of the colors in the kit this amber aura sunset in ash. So they say to start off with the contour first. <sighs> That's weird. Okay, everything is creamy. So just dab on the sides. Okay, and I'm gonna do the chiseled contour. Okay guys, this product is very pigmented. Um, yeah, it's it's really pigmented. But I think that that is a very pretty contour. Oh gosh. Let's add some down here. And on my forehead. Okay. So light hand. Okay. It's really pigmented. Let's buff that out. I'm going to push it up. Oh no. Okay. That's my fault. Not the product's fault. <laughs> Just grab too much. Oh yeah, it blends very nicely. This side is a lot better. Um, I'm not sure if I like this brush for contour. It um, it kind of like sticks, you know. Yeah, it's um, it's very st stiff. Like when it goes on, it kind of does that like teeter totter back and forth. Not sure how I feel about that. Okay, I'm literally gonna take my beauty blender and like clean this up because that was too much. There we go. Okay, when I'm like doing this to the contour, it's fine. Um, the brush part, but whenever I go like up or down, 
it it kind of does a weird thing. Just not used to it. Like I said, I usually use a beauty blender or like a big old brush um, to do my contour. I don't, it's not really covering. It's not really covering like my pimply stuff. I think that's why I like layers because it gives a good coverage and I don't want to make this like too, too intense, you know? <sighs> Let's move on. I'm going to try amber color first. It's very creamy. I don't really feel like these would last too very long. Let's see. Okay. It's um streaking. I don't know if it's the brush or not. I'm gonna go like over everything with the beauty blender at the very end. And we'll see. Okay, from far away it looks good. Close up, not so much. Okay, that was just like two dabs like in the thing, so. I'm gonna try dabbing it on this side. And I mean, from the camera, I feel like it looks good, but. <sighs> I don't, I don't know up close. I don't even know. We'll see if it's like buildable. Okay, I feel a lot better now that I've been tapping. I'll try a little bit of Aurora. No, that matches my skin really good down here. I like having the two tone face colors or highlights because I do have different colors all over my face. Okay, now that it's setting in, I'm feeling a little better about it. Not, I just don't know if I like the brush. I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Blender. I'll try this out. Okay, I like that. I feel like it's more matte looking, less streaky. It's setting into my skin instead of sitting on top of it. Yeah, now you can't, okay, you can still see a ton. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know if I would do contour first. I honestly, <laughs> honestly feel like I would put this like highlight like all over my face and then go in with the contour because where that contour is, it looks like it's just like dirty skin. Yeah, it looks like it's just my skin underneath with like contour on top of it so okay let's try doing the contour on my sponge no no I just feel like your skin kind of needs something under there you know I mean if you have flawless skin go for it but not not me my skin is very blemished. I feel like you still see like a bunch of red under there. From far away, it looks fine, but not up close. All right, let's do the blush. I have my little blush brush already. Wow, that's very pigmented. Okay. Ooh, let's take this and kind of work it out. I mean, I like blush, but I don't, I don't like super pink cheeks. Now, I'm kind of afraid to go in with like a brush on top of this. So I'm just gonna take my highlight and I'm gonna take my sponge and just like dab it in so I don't ruin anything. The highlight doesn't, the powder doesn't really like wanna mesh well with the cream underneath. It's still working. The Beauty Blender putting the highlight on it's working, but not not great. So I'm gonna just try with my regular highlight brush to try to see if this will be better. It's patchy. It's very patchy. This side of my face is not good. This side is a lot better. I don't know what to do to fix it. All right, it says to set it with setting spray, so here we go. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let this dry. Oh, wait. While I'm letting that dry, let's put some of this like cheeky stuff on my lips. That's just like a really nice 
tinted moisturizer. From far away, I'm not going to lie, it looks really good. I feel now that it's like setting in, it's looking better. I feel like it's looking a lot better now that it's setting in. This side is still not good. I don't know what to do. This side looks fine, but I still don't like this contour. I love the color of the contour. I do not like how it shows like my blemishes and my uh, texture underneath. It's kind of blotchy. It covered up my under eyes pretty good. Um, I'm not an oily person, but I feel really oily right now. I don't really have oily skin at all, but my under eyes look really oily. Um, it's not creasing. Oh, it is a little bit. My forehead looks fine. I'm going to show you guys up close. All right, let's do a close up. If you guys can see the contour, it's pretty blotchy. And you can see like my skin underneath there. This side looks really bad. All right, my honest review of the product. Super cute packaging. First off, I think that this is so beautiful. I don't really feel like you get a lot of product. You can tell like even from using just a little bit on my skin today, I dug into that uh, quite a bit. The blush, I don't really think that you need a ton of product. The contour, you don't need a ton of product, but these two highlights, I feel like they're a little bit more um, creamy and loose. These are a little bit harder. I think that if you have oily skin, I would suggest putting um, some setting powder on top of it. I like the idea of it. I think the more, like if I would use it more, it would probably take me less time to do my makeup, but usually doing my makeup in the morning, it's like quick. Like I do my lines of my uh, concealer, I kind of pat it in, do my bronzer, blush, highlight, done. This is like, you kind of have to really work it and like make sure that when you're doing your contour, you're just doing your contour. When you're doing your blush, you're just doing your blush. Highlighting has to be like perfectly precise and like dabbing it in is a lot. I'm not sure how much I like this brush. I think that it's fine for contour, but it's it might be like, it should be maybe a little shorter so it doesn't like move back and forth like this. Do you see that? It kind of just like wiggles back and forth. I honestly would suggest using a sponge for the highlight and maybe the contour because it was really hard to blend. I know that they have like different brushes too so maybe try out some of those. Man, I really wanted to like this. I really like it from far away on this side of my face but I'm kind of just glad that my hair covers up this side of my contour <laughs> because I messed that up. But I mean, honestly, the colors blended very well. Once you put the setting spray on there, it looks a lot better. Um, I don't really have much to say negative about the highlight. I think that the highlight is great. Um, it's just that contour. I love the color of it, but it just doesn't, it doesn't cover what I need it to cover. But then I feel like if it was like more pigmented and like thicker and you put on more layers, then you just look really dirty and cakey. Oh, I'm so sad. Cause it's a beautiful product and I think the packaging is like to die for. I think that these little container things are so stinking cute and I think that the brush is beautiful. Like it looks great. They did a really good job on the packaging. Like I said, maybe with a little bit more practice, I might, I might get better. I don't know. But my first initial reaction is I think it's way too much work to try to like get it to where it needs to go. I don't think that there's a lot of product in the highlight. I think that, mm -hmm. I think it's because I'm so used to foundation. Like you just put foundation all over your skin. I honestly think that if I were to put foundation underneath this contour and then put the contour on top of it, um, I think it would, it would look great. I honestly do. But then again, I'm not like a cream kind of person. The only cream that I use is my concealer. Everything else is powder. So this is very different for me. Um, but I do love the highlight, the highlight color. I don't know why I'm saying, I know it's highlight, but I want to say like foundation because it's the color of foundation, concealer, whatever. That color is very pretty. I like it. I think that it matched really well. So if you guys are curious on buying it, here is the information right here. And I will go ahead and put everything in the description box below. They have like distributors and what do they call them? 
independent artists. That's my review. Thank you guys so much for watching and sticking with me on this honest review. It sucks that I'm really honest about it. I wish I was like nicer and whatever, but I don't want to sell you guys something if it's not great, but it might be great for you. I don't know, I'm just not. I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna keep on trying it and we'll see. It might be in my favorites video, you never know. <laughs> you never know, okay. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please subscribe to my channel if you are new and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you guys so much, I'll see you later, bye.